It's cold here in Cincinnati. It's cold. I'm on the old deck of the pool, but they took the pool off. They tore it apart. <laughs> it was starting to leak. It was an above ground pool and it was starting to leak and they just, yeah, they got rid of it. Nobody really used it. Always. The alarm goes off always <laughs> when I'm filming, yeah. It's kind of chilly, but I wanted to get outside. I'm still um, settling down. When you've been 31,000 feet in the air, in the clouds, all day long. <laughs> Yesterday I was in there all day long. My head is still just kind of settling down, but I'm settling in and I just wanted to do an update for you. Yep, this is my old stomping grounds. There's a big woods in the back and it's just so different. It's nice. It feels like home because I, I lived here. Um, I was in my van part time while I was here uh, six years ago, but it feels like home because I actually lived here and the, the basement where I uh, slept in and I lived in, in the basement, now is just a playroom uh, for the two grandkids. So. so I'm really having a good time. I've been talking with my daughter. We've been catching up on all the good news. Haven't really played with my grandson too much. Waiting for my granddaughter to come back from school. And I think we're going to go do something, but I don't know what. Yeah. Yep, the climate is so different. Everything is just so different. Let's see. Yeah. Here's my daughter's Berkey. I had one just like this. These are great. I gave mine away when I became a nomad. These are great. I love them. So I really did have a good time yesterday at the airport, people watching. The, the one thing that kind of confused me, okay, when we got to Dallas, it was a really nice airport and it had the skyline where, um, you know, you, you have to hop on this tram that goes around. It takes you to the different, um, the different levels, you know, and, uh, you know, there's A, B and there's C and E and D and E. Well, it said that the gate that I was gonna be flying out of from Dallas to Cincinnati, it had C24, okay? So I kinda of hung around there. But what I did was I got my walking in while I was at the airport because you're sitting so much in the plane. So I thought, well, I walked back and forth and then I looked again just to check it and thank God I did. And it said C36, so I thought, oh my gosh, they changed it. Well, I went to um, C36 and there was nobody around. And I thought, well, that's weird because I have like an hour and 10 minutes before the flight. I checked, it said A20 and I thought, what is happening? So I asked somebody, I'm, I'm, I'm big on asking questions. I just found somebody said, you know, my, my um, boarding gate keeps changing. They said, oh, that happens all the time. And I go, well, good to know, good to know. <laughs> you know, I could have missed my flight. So I had to get back on the tram and yeah, I mean, I made it. I, mean, I had plenty of time, but thank goodness I checked it. Wow. So I'm learning. I'm learning about this flight thing, flying. I mean, it's a little different than I remember eight years ago. It had been eight years since I actually flew, you know, so all different. And um, they told me because I was the last one, the last group to um, get called into the, into the flight from Tucson to Dallas, um, they made an announcement that there might not be much overhead space to put your carry-on bag. So I thought, well, they said, if you want, you can um, check it in for free and uh, we'll take care of it. So I thought, well, maybe I better, boy. When I got on the plane, so I checked it in. And when I got on the plane, there was all kinds of space on there. So it was like, well, uh, live and learn, live and learn. I'm learning, I'm learning. So then when I, <laughs> so the, the, the plane, the, the plane um, in Dallas, we were so delayed. We were so delayed. So I guess finally the, the pilot announced that they had to fix the plane before we could take off. <laughs> 
I was like, oh my gosh, they're down there. They're under there tinkering with our, with our, with our, with our plane before we can take off. I laughed with the girl beside me. I'm like, this isn't good. But it was something about the wheel. There was pressure in the wheel. They had to, um, I don't know, inject something in there to get, to get it to, it was, it, was, it had deflated or something. <laughs> okay. Um, so we literally were an hour and a half delayed. And by the time I got to Cincinnati and actually got here, it was like almost midnight when it should have really been like 8.30. Um, of course, then it was a, it was a half hour to drive here because the airport's a little bit closer to um, Kentucky, and uh, yeah, it's um, so we made it here. But yeah, they had to fix they had to fix the plane. They had some mechanics <laughs> before we could take off. It took forever, but it was cool. to the Mini Van Lee Show. We're new members. And your airplane trip. There you go. <laughs> Am I still, is it still going? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Come on, Jenny. Okay, Come on, you can do it. We have our money back. Follow you. No problem. We don't need to pay off. <laughs> You'll get a check in the mail, girls. <laughs>
through Expedia when I selected my seats. I thought, well, let me, because it's been so long, let me try a um, an outside, an aisle seat, but then I also wanted to try a window seat. Because if you have to go the, if you have to pee a lot, you might want an aisle seat, um, which was no big deal. I did the aisle seat and it was fine. And I, I really do, I think, Comparing, I like the aisle seat better. I really do. I mean, it was great to look out and I got to see the plane and everything and the air taken off, but I felt a little better in the aisle seat. I, I felt a little bit more roomy. I wasn't all crowded in. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the film that I put together of that. Yeah, it took forever. It took, you. it looks like it happens really fast, but literally, literally we were setting waiting in line with other planes it was like a it was like um traffic jam he explained every once i'd come on he goes well we've got about 32 planes we're in line and there's 32 ahead of us <laughs> so it was a long time sitting there so i know what i'm doing better i must have things downloaded i must i've got to have movies downloaded um, some audiobooks downloaded something I need to have some things because I kind of felt because you're you're on um, have it on airplane mode and I just felt like I didn't have enough going on I did have my Bible app so I was so I got a chance to really get caught up on some of my reading there on scripture um, and the two beside me on the flight from Dallas to Cincinnati, they were a little bit more quiet. Those two ladies were from Tucson to Dallas. And I'll tell you, they were so fun. And it was funny too, because I was cleaning out my phones while I was sitting there. I had all three phones and I was cleaning out. See, I have to clean, every phone has, has a special purpose. So I had to clean out and move things around, airdrop them into things, um, and then get some of it, some of the videos onto my flash drive. So I had to clean out a lot of stuff. I call it cleaning out my phones and it, it's a big deal. It, t it t can take three, four hours just to clean them out and decide, okay, do I want to keep this? Do I want to keep that? Where do I want to store this? And uh, so I was very quiet, but those two beside me, they were just chitter chattering away and some of it I couldn't even hear. But then when I got done with that, we got a little closer. So I started joining in with them. <laughs> they had no idea I was so, I was so talkative. <laughs> I was so animated because I thought, well, she's kind of quiet over there, you know, but I turned out to be, um, kind of like a live wire, you know, but I told them that, you know, why they said, why do you have so many phones? I said, well, I told them what I did and they said, oh, we want to see a uh, minivan Lee, the minivan Lee show. <laughs> so when we got close, they go, I go, do you mind? Do you mind me um, filming you? You know, cause you guys are like, we're like best friends now, you know? And um, they said, oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> it was, we, we were, we were, um, we go, we were in giggle mode <laughs> towards the end when we landed in in uh, Dallas. Wow. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun. It was a little bit more fun going from um, Tucson to Dallas. But I do like Dallas Airport. Wow. Foodery, our eateries everywhere. And they have really, really fancy. Um, some of the shops are really fancy. I mean, they had Mac. Um makeup. I went in there and kind of looked and um, bought a new lipstick, <laughs> a color I really liked. And um, what when I was coming out, I did have somebody, that she goes, Minnie Van Lee? And I was like, oh my gosh, I got recognized. Um, who knew at the airport? At the airport. So that was that was very nice. And we talked for a little bit. And she told me how she helped me and, and uh, how I helped her. Okay, the, yeah, 31,000 feet for a full day. My mind is still a little bit. Yeah, I actually feel kind of like um, trying to get into talking to you on film. <laughs> my, hey, friends out there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was, and I'm in such a different environment. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? So, yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun. And then they had this one um, perfume, a perfume. It was, it was just small, but I went in there. Oh my gosh. I mean, they had stuff in there, uh, Gucci and um, they had stuff in there that some of it was like $175 for a bottle of, uh, 
It was eau de cologne, but still, that's pretty expensive, but oh, it smelled so good. You know, those little papers, those little cardboard things you can spray them on. I got a couple of those and put one in my pocket and one in my bag, yeah. And it's really good too, because it still has a nice aroma to it, yeah, nice scent, so. So the, I was just going through the shops because I had four hours. Yeah, I had four hours before takeoff. But I did have to get to my gate, you know, the hour before. And thank goodness. Thank you for uh, for checking. Wow. So now I know I'm going to be an expert at this. So now I wonder where I'm going to go next. Ooh. Yeah, one of my friends, um, Rhonda, she wants me to go to um, Puerto Rico. Her son owns a home there by the beach. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But, yeah, now that I'm... Um, now that I got the, the travel bug, yeah. Now, do I want to drive? Yeah, okay, I know I know. you say, well, why aren't you driving? You're a van dweller. What are you doing flying everywhere? Well, here's the thing for me. Let me explain. <laughs> let me, let me re-explain, everybody. I do a different kind of nomad life. I, I've explained this, but I, I'll remind everybody. I do a different kind. I live in my minivan which I miss, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Um, I live in my minivan, but that doesn't mean I'm going to drive everywhere. It's my home on wheels. And two issues, gas is high and other expenses are high, so I don't want to put wear and tear on my minivan. I love my minivan. It's my home. I'm not going to just drive it up and down and all around and, and wear it out. And, and um, repairs are high, too. So getting it repaired or buying another one, those three things, wow. So I just because I live in my minivan doesn't mean that I'm not going to start flying on vacation. <laughs> I'm going to fly everywhere, I think. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'll get used to the flying, but now I kind of wonder where else I could go. I could fly somewhere and stay in a hotel for a couple of days and fly back. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll become like a, more like a travel channel. I'll show you different things, you know, uh, places that I've been. But am I going to drive? Well, another, okay, I showed you three things. The, the fourth one is sitting and driving. Sitting and driving. Nah, I don't think so. My hips start hurting. I don't want to just sit all the time. Yeah, I like to go on vacation, get there and go have fun. But a lot of you like the travel and the driving. I'm not much on driving anymore. Um, I don't mind it, but not for long, long periods of time. The driving and, uh, you know, you like to drive and you like to do the byways and go see all the, the, the back roads. That's not my cup of tea. That's not where I'm at at all. I just want to live my life and uh, and I'm free, I'm solo. I mean, I can go where I want to go and do what I want to do on my own timeline, right? So we'll see the next place I go. You know something, I'm serious, something I really um, have thought about is, I don't know, I wouldn't mind seeing New York City, really. I wouldn't mind it before it completely falls apart. I wouldn't mind going to like, um, It'd be fun to see a Broadway show or it'd be fun to go to Central Park. When I went over to Germany, of course, I went to New York and changed airports, so I've been there. But I didn't really go there. I didn't go there at all. I didn't see anything. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to end this and I hope you enjoy this. I'll have more stuff, but I'm just still kind of winding down and I wanted to talk to you and I wanted to show you the environment, the, the landscape out here. Yeah, there is a huge back here. It's a really nice, you can go, you can walk in there. There's a lot of deer that walk around out here and it's a really nice woods. These are, they, um, my daughter and son-in-law live in an area where it's not really in the city. It's all uh, more um, residential family areas, and it's um, it's very highly wooded. So there's a lot of deer here. If you travel early in the morning or at night, you really do have to watch out for the deer crossing the road. Yeah, you're going to hit a deer. Okay, till tomorrow, everybody. Mm, I love you guys a lot, and uh, I'm going to have fun here for four or five days. And, but I will be anxious to get back to my minivan because guess what? I kind of miss it. It's weird. I've never been so far away from my minivan since I've been a nomad. But I know it's under good care. So bye, everybody. Please subscribe. Check your subscription down there down below. Make sure 
excuse me <laughs> make sure that you're subscribed and I'll go to minvanlee.com if you want to give me a gift thank you and I really appreciate it bye